That was a really long explanation, Google. Good morning, everybody. It's Good Katie. Morning. It's Ash. We're here with What's What. So when we were getting on, for those of you who don't know what What's What is, this is your Mom Nation news show. We talk all about things Mom Nation for a whole entire hour. Um, so anyway, so <laughs> sometimes longer. So anyway, when I was uh, getting on, I noticed that Zoom allows me to stream to Twitch now. And I don't know what Twitch is. So we asked Google, and I think I still don't know what Twitch is. Good morning, Sheena. Sheena got the points for having the first comment. There's so many new platforms and social media stuff that's out there now. It's insane. Yeah, I can't keep up. I'm like, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Yeah, I'm good with those. <laughs> I mean, I know there's other ones, but good morning, Kristen. Good morning, guys. I haven't pulled you up on my phone yet, but I will. Good morning, Jessica. Hello, hello. So if you guys know what Twitch is, let us know what Twitch is. Um, ooh, I got some new swag. I got, this, I got this for my birthday. Look. Do you see it? Oh, it's cute. Right? It's Elvis. Oh. And of course, sold by Team, well, Evo AZ. I, I guess it's backwards. I love yeah. it. That's so cool. When'd you get that? My hubby had it made for me. Oh. Because I'm a big Elvis fan. So I'm super stoked because it's really comfy and I'm just going to throw a blazer over it because I have clients after this. And so I'm going to fancy it right up. Well, mm -hmm. you're always looking fancy, so. Ah, well, thanks. I, I think you're going to be in my neighborhood today. Is that right? When yeah. <laughs> yes, I have a listing appointment, like, really close to you. I could probably throw a twig and hit your house. So if you hear, that's me. That's you? Throwing rocks up at my window? Uh, yeah, to see if you can come out and play. <laughs> Oh gosh. Come down, Ash. Come down. Oh, oh well, my goodness. But before that, real quick, I get to see Dr. Bobby Bennett over at Bodywise Chiropractic because I need a crack so bad. I'm like hunched. Uh she does wonders, and I haven't been back in a minute. Look, feels like a month at least, probably longer. God, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Eileen. Oh, Sheena says she loves Elvis and her pup's name is Elvis. That's cute. Oh. I once had a dog named Presley. I loved that dog. Have you seen the trailer for the new movie? The new Elvis movie? Yes. Do you think it looks good? Are you excited? I love everything Elvis, but I think they could have picked a different actor to play Elvis. Like... I hope we're pleasantly surprised, but I was thinking the same. He just doesn't have the look to me. Like we have so much, like we have better actors that have the look like Johnny Depp would make a great Elvis. I agree. All right, ladies, we are going to go over some of the ways that you can get on the cash list. Oh yeah. Cash. Cash. P.S. Congratulations. Speaking of Kristen Leach, sorry, I have a frog in my throat, but congratulations, Kristen Leach, for uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner last week. She won the trivia question. So she got the grab bag and she got the uh, comprehensive emergency preparedness list. I believe that's what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. So gross. And so I'm really excited <clears throat> to see. All right. Hold up. Get some water. Better. I have like vitamin water here, um, but I'm really excited to see what that's all about, Kristen. So share that with us when you get it. Oh, and Eileen, look, I put them on. Hey. I have flag nails. Love it. Flag nails. Between her and Shannon Gardner with their whole like, you know. Flag line. Themes. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You guys need to hook up Eileen Sater and Shannon Gardner. You guys need to hook up because Shannon has a new flag line of clothes through her clothing boutique and Eileen has all the awesome nails to match, right? 
Yes, ma'am. Love it. Love collaboration. Yes, Kristen. Kristen says she's so excited for the bag and she was thinking she could do a video of packing it. Yes. Yes. That would be great. I want to see it. Oh, um, Kristen, if you want, let's do a live and learn. And then that way we can go live when you talk about it and everybody can learn. I think that'd be great. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's oh, go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> all right, guys. So we are going to go ahead and again, get you all caught up on how to get on that cash list. I'm hoping that everyone um, who keeps an eye open on our featured area already saw that beautiful post. Uh, I'm finding it right now so that I can share it. Where Good morning, Marley. Man, we got a lot coming into this featured area. <laughs> I love Marley's last name, Ortiz. That's how you say it, right? Like anybody's name sounds good with that. Ashley Ortiz, Katie Ortiz. Like it, it just sounds so good. I agree. Marley said, Ash, your hair looks amazing. Have you ever uh, touched it? She has enough I, hair I, for like no, three it's people. It's a forbidden thing. I don't touch it ever. Not you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Others. <laughs> <laughs> oh see look i got her name right oh uh, that's funny thanks marley all right i found it so um we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna share this real quick just so everybody knows and then we'll jump into meet and greeting our new mamas all right i love new mama day yes so this post um, is going to basically break down all the ways that you guys can get on the cash list. There is still what are we're in the middle now. So we have two more Wednesdays, one more. We tap two, two. Yeah. Two more Wednesdays. Um, but there's any day of the week you can get on this list just by participating in posts. Um, so commenting on posts that Katie puts out is really kind of a hot way of getting on it. Um, being active in the group, being one of our top contributors gets you on that cash list. Um, let's see what else in the welcoming post, we go through and try and get a new mama into it. So we'll do that here soon. If it's your birthday this month, get on the birthday post. So I guess I messed up last week. I, so I schedule out those specific posts and I went to day to go and find it. And I couldn't find it. It find was what? The last one was um, our celebrate everything post. The last one was June first, which means the one on June eighth did not go out. Didn't so post, I huh? Silly Facebook. You know we had a problem yesterday. Uh, I want to say her name is also Ash. There was a post that went out about dental implants. Did you see that yesterday? And I and the. Uh, Mom Nation page got a message about somebody was seeing the posts shut or the comments were shut off, but the comments weren't shut off, but they couldn't comment to it. It was really strange. That is strange. So strange. Well, and the thing is, is like I went into scheduled posts and was like, well, do I have others missing? And then so I went and checked the future ones and they're there. So I don't know, but when I go searching for it, I can't find it and it's not in the featured. So I guess I messed up. But I sorry. It gets wonky. There I are think. some awesome birthdays that were celebrated. Brie Nicole with Pretty House. She had a birthday this month too. There were so many more to add and I'm sorry guys. I know. Anyway, um, moving on. So I want to go ahead and go over our top contributors. Um, so each of these ladies makes it onto the cash list. So top contributors, these are the girls that are mamas that are just, again, adding a lot of value to the group, um, whether it's putting up posts, commenting, giving advice and feedback, or um, you know, putting out positive reactions out there. So Brianne Barnes is number one right now. 14 posts, 502 comments, guys. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. 273 reactions. Then we have Casey Patterson, number two, 
Um, she's up there. And then again, I always point these out. These little badges are kind of cool. If you ever are curious what you have, you can always check those out. Um, this one's just visual storytelling, letting us know that she's consistently sharing images or videos that people find valuable. Um, we have Sarah Pitcher coming in at number three, Karen Bethel, Jeanette Carroll, Dana, I said it right, Wilson, Yay. Kelly Savistano, Alexa Rowland, Tony Marquette, and Eileen Satter. So all 10 of you are going onto that cash list. And when we get into the featured area, we'll and people know what the cash list is, right? I feel like sometimes we have some newcomers on the show and we might not go over exactly what that is. So once, once a month, last Wednesday of the month on this show, we draw a winner from our cash list. So all month long, we're collecting, collecting. Some people have multiple entries and then we choose randomly from that. And that's who gets the dollar, dollar bills. Dollar, dollar, make you holla. <laughs> And I mean, who couldn't use a hundred bucks right now? That's a whole tank of gas. <laughs> um, so another cool thing that we're going to do today is we are going to, we had two posts go into the group, um, which I can close this out now. Um, we had two posts go out into the group referencing Father's Day. We had some awesome sponsors come forward to help put together a Father's Day care basket. Um, our charity committee was pretty awesome. We did the Mother's Day one, happened Mother's Day. <laughs> and um, it was just really, it's really cool. Anyway, we have fun with it and we got that pulled together. Um, still people are sending in stuff and we appreciate all the help from everyone on that. And we're gonna draw from the two posts where you guys could nominate a dad. Um, I don't know, do we wanna do that now or wait? Yeah, okay. well, let's go over who the sponsors are. Okay, we can do that. So I'm gonna pop into the featured area. Which, by the way, guys, this top section, if you are new, you hear us, you will hear us talk about this a number of times because we want everyone to be familiar with it. This cover photo up here says click here for a reason. I'm not going to do it right now, but if you do it in the caption, there's going to be a ton of resources for you. Um, our weekly posts, how to get on with podcasts and live and learns and basically anything and everything you need to know about the group, group rules, all the good stuff, how to get on the, um, uh, help me, distribution list, get the uh, once a month. Win new. that trivia, just like Kristen did. Yep. Um, so all, all of that is in there. Um, if you are someone who's having issues seeing your events tab, like I am, it's not here. Um, you can click in here and we'll have an area where you have your state specific events um, so it's kind of a roundabout way of getting into that. If you're doing it from your mobile, you'll click the picture and then hit view photo. And that's when the caption will come up with all the resources in it. So looking at the sponsors for the Father's Day Care Basket, we've got Sarah Pitcher with Warrior Coaching, Brianne Barnes with Aunt BB and Ivy, which is kind of a cool name. That is so cute. Yeah. Uh, Lacey Webb with Essentially Lacey. Jen Sarge with AZ Vinyl, uh, Jennifer Estabrook with American Patriot Lock and Key. She's actually dropping off her uh, donation to my house in probably 30 minutes or so. Um, Kristen Leach with Sharper Edge Painting, Dana Austin with Financial Services, Dana Austin Financial Services. And I think that's all we all we got this time around, but um, I feel like I'm missing someone on here. I am. I know who it is. Sheena Clark. Sheena oh, Clark. Sheena. She just popped in though, like this morning. So Sheena Clark um, is going to go ahead. And I think she's got some amazing um, beard balm, beard oil. She well, I thought you said beer at first. No. <laughs> I'm like what is spear oil? No. Yeah. She, she's making all kinds of cool stuff right now. I'm excited to see it. So um, beard balm. What's that? So like softens your beard up. I think it, yeah, it's like, in, maybe I should get some, I think it like, you know, keeps it 
moisturized conditions it basically. I don't know. My husband uses it. Not hers. We should. I want to try it. I need to get that is a good gift for sure. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we thank you ladies. We really, really appreciate it. We'll be going ahead and doing another post once the actual basket is put together and um, highlight some of the items that went into it. Oh, sweet. Hopefully we'll have a picture maybe if the lucky dad is willing to <laughs> let us have one. Um, Tina responded and said it's a moisturizer and has wax to keep it in place. Hey, thanks, Tina. So the older I get, the hairier I get. I think I need some of that. <laughs> Oh, Just kidding. We're using it in uh, some questionable areas. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. I meant, you know, you know, I'm getting old, Ash. Leave me alone. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I um, know, she says. <laughs> I'm going to see if we can pull up the wheel for the Father's wheel Day basket. Of names. These wheel of Fortune is like bats. one of my favorite game shows. What is Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I haven't seen that in such a long time. Is this still playing on TV? I don't have regular TV, so I have no idea. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Sometimes Jax and I watch it, and he's so cute, and he tries to, like, guess the phrases and stuff. Oh. And he'll say, like, this super long word, and there's, like, three letters in it. I'm like, yeah, bud, keep guessing. It's really cute. That is super cute. All right. <laughs> So these are the lucky daddies that got onto the wheel. Um, let me go ahead and spin it. Oh, cute. Best dad ever. That is cute. Who's it going to be? Leonard Carlson. I love him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I got to take a picture of that. That is Sharon's husband. Sharon Colson. Let me tag her. That awesome. is so cool. He's the coolest guy ever. Did you get a screenshot of it? Did. Okay. Excellent. Congratulations. Oh, that's a great winner. I'm so excited. I mean, everybody, I think everyone on the wheel is wonderful, but that is so cool. I am so happy. He is, that is great. He's a great man. That's awesome. I'm excited to see what they get into this basket for sure. Sarah Pitcher's helping collect all the items. So. Um, we'll let her know who the winner was and figure out how we can get that into his hands, hopefully before Father's Day. Um, we just want to make sure that everyone who's sponsored an item um, is able to get it into the basket before we hand it off to him. Let's put the person who's, who suggested him on the cash list. I agree. Well, when we get into those posts, they're a little further in here, but when we look at those, we can. I'm, put, I'm adding Sharon. Sharon Colson, you got an entry on the hundred dollar. Hey, all right. Uh, so that's us right now. Um, so this just went out this morning, guys. This is actually for our Mom Nation approved vendors. So these are the moms who have gone ahead and um, went through the process of becoming a approved Mom Nation vendor through our Black Friday market that happens in November. But all year, all year long, they you are can't going, see it. You can't see it. I'm not sure. No, it. I'm looking at the basket. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought that was basket stuff. Totally my bad. See, getting old. Sorry, Ash. We can see it. Okay. Um. So yeah, the picture's down here, but I clicked see also. It's like hard to sorry. see. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Um, all year round though, these ladies are finding different ways to get you guys familiar with what they have to offer even before Black Friday, which is awesome. So we kind of wanted to do something in relation to going back to school because we know everybody's going to gear up for that sooner rather than later. <laughs> and it's a craze and we know it. So, um, take a look at this post. We have, uh, Sherry and I don't want to mispronounce her last name. Help me. Tater. Tater. Oh, my God. I love it. Nah. <laughs> That's my nickname for her now. Tater. Okay. Um, with Miss Ocean Booty and makeup like a mother. So she's going to have some stuff that she wants to showcase to us. Um, kind of highlighting, you know, back to school stuff. Uh, maybe she's got some makeup that would be hot for going back 
or some suits, whatever it is, she's going to showcase them for us on a live show, July 14th at 2 p.m. Arizona. Pretty exciting. Yep. And if you're not in the Arizona group, which if you are watching this, you probably are, but um, we will have it posted up in the other states as well. So you know, always check it out there too. Um, we also have Eileen Satter with Color Street and Juliet Toon with Simple Mod Boutique and Pampered Chef. We, we got have- a question here real quick. Yeah. Amanda, Amanda Kathleen Long. Hello. So she's asking, so there's Mother's Day and Father's Day. Is there a baby's day other than birthdays, birthday or Christmas? Is there? Is there children's day? I don't think so. We could make one. I feel like, isn't there like a, a um, national something day every day? National sons, national daughters. Mm-hmm. There's that. I wonder if there's just like a national kids day. If not, we can totally do it in mom nation. Look it up and tell us. Make a whole big deal about it. That would be awesome. Yes. Back to school gifts for teachers. Some of these would be, that'd be good. Uh, for instance, Lacey Webb with Essentially Lacey, maybe you need some really good oils that keep your kids, you know, focused <laughs> or calm or maybe or keeps you sane. Yeah. Get some of the help teachers with their headaches that they're about to incur. <laughs> um, no, she's got a whole bunch of other stuff than just oils though. It's a ton of, ton of stuff. Marcy Sawyer. So she, I think, has another business, and I might have made a boo-boo. I probably need to put that in here. I'm not sure if she's doing Pottery Surprise anymore, but I will double-check on that and get everybody updated. Uh, Shannon Gardner with Glam World Boutique. Um, Obviously, she's got tons of cool clothes, and I don't, like, okay, I'm not trying to be selfish, but why do I just have to buy kid clothes for my kids when they're going back to school? My wardrobe needs help all the time. <laughs> like, so I'm, uh, but she has like cute stuff, whether you're high school, college student, mom, she's going to have some good stuff. Tony Marquette. Uh, she's going to have hello pink, uh, items. And as we all know, those are awesome too. Yeah. I've shopped from, uh, from that store a bit actually. And I have this maxi dress that is, have you seen it? It's that camo. It's like kind of like a light blue and gray camo sort of style maxi dress. It sounds like your style, but no, I don't think I saw it. Oh, I love it. I did see this shirt that's, oh God, who am I going to remember what it said? Um, It's Yellowstone, you know, the show Yellowstone themed. And I loved it. It was Oh, my brain is farting all over the place right now. Oh, dang. Uh, <laughs> what is the, okay, guys, what's the name of the daughter on Yellowstone? Somebody knows. I, I haven't watched it yet. Well, that girl, I can't remember her name, the, act, the, the character. Um, it was her name has my vote for president. I love her though. You have to watch that show. You need to watch that show. You would really, I think, I think you would like her. <laughs> What's it on? I like her. Um, HBO. So it's not on like Hulu, Hulu or anything like that. Oh, no, no, no. It's not HBO. It is somebody help, help. Oh, Beth, Beth Dutton. Yes. Thank you, Kristen. <laughs> Kristen um, knows everything. Yes. Paramount, Paramount Plus. She's awesome. Pulling full, pulling through for me. I love it. Um, anyway. Beth Dutton for president is what it said. And I was like, oh, I want that. <laughs> it was cute. Anyway, Hello Pink's really good one. Um, so yeah, we'll have that. It's going to be an actual like live show, guys. So we're going to have them come on live for a couple minutes. Each one's going to showcase some of their back, back to school items. And we're excited to see it. I love it. You know, you know how much I love supporting our mamas. So fun. Yeah. Kristen also said. Uh, watch Yellowstone first, then watch 1883. I don't know what that is. Oh, Tony just posted it. She posted the picture. Yeah. She posted the link. I'll tag you. 
I think I know which one you're talking about. That's awesome. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was still up there. I'm definitely going to get it. <laughs> okay. I'll be walking up to their first day of school. <laughs> you are uh, totally that mom. Do it. Uh, so funny. Okay. Um, it's the prequel. Oh, hey. Okay. All right. I can get down with it. Um, all right. I know you're pressed for time. So Skylar is always putting out this post. So if you are having issues seeing your events tab, you can always look through here as well. Um, these are actual links to specific events that are coming up. Um, so these are always cool. And this is a neat little reel that he puts, uh, she puts together for us, letting us know what's happening. So yeah, it's just a quick, a quick watch. And I mean, there's no words, so you can just like read. And that way you get to know what's coming up. I swear I put down the volume on my phone, but it's not wanting to listen to me. Yo, popular. All right. First city gonna... says it's about how they got into the ranch in the first place. Okay. And Jennifer says, good morning. Good morning, Jennifer. It's the like with... story of his dad then? Oh, no. No. All right. Welcoming post. So this is um, our new mamas that are coming into the group and we want to give one of them an opportunity. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven new moms this week. Whoop, whoop. Hey, hey. Welcome to the family. Oh, last one. Number eleven. Oh, who's the last one? You get on the list. New member, new member, Bridget Montoyo. Bridget Montoyo. I did I did that for you, Ashley. So again, cash list, you just made it on it. We're going to draw a lucky winner at the end of this month on the last What's What Wednesday, 10 a.m. <laughs> Yay, Bridget. We are going to be that mama. Um, so let's do the timer now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to tag Bridget really quick. Okay. All right, guys. So the other thing, oh, we forgot first and last comment. Who was first? Well, we haven't done last yet. Uh, first is Sheena. I already got it. Got it? Okay. I'm all on top of this. So Sheena Clark, If did I miss it when you told her that she got on it? Or did you do that? I did. Okay, good. I missed yep. it. All right, I'm setting the alarm or the thing. Okay. So last person to comment when the alarm goes off gets on the cash list. And it has already started. So okay. you may begin. All right, I do it. Um, so this is where you were uh, able to go ahead and come on as a sponsor for the basket. There are several posts that went out about it. Um, this was one of them. Another shout out to all the sponsors in there. And, and, Shout out to our charity committee. I like tagging them on these because they're awesome and they help make these possible. So Shannon Gardner, Kristen Leach, Brianne Barnes, myself, Katie, Sherry, Tater, <laughs> and Sarah Pitcher. Um, we, we have an awesome uh, charity drive event thing coming up too that I will not mention right now. Well, I just did. But I will not mention more details, but it's going to be pretty cool. And I'm excited to uh, participate in that one okay. for the kiddos. Oh, and rumor has it, I'll let her tell you more, but rumor has it that Sharon Gardner, uh, Shannon Gardner, Sharon, I just saw Shan Sharon's uh, comment. Shannon Gardner is also working on a charity event this year that uh, should be pretty cool that this group can participate in. And I think will be very near and dear to most. So I agree. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I feel like I say I agree a lot. Say well, because you're I talking to me. Just kidding. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So holiday shopping made easy. This post is going to be up for quite a while because different holidays come in throughout the year. And no matter what holiday it is, if you have some sales going on and you are a Mom Nation approved vendor, meaning you are participating in the Black Friday market in November, um, then you'll 
you know, you'll know about these things coming up and you'd be able to partake in this. But this post is up for those um, mom approved vendors, mom nation approved vendors that again, Tony Marquette, Hello Pink, everything for Mother's Day. We've got stuff in here now for Father's Day. Um, so come in and check these ladies out. They are obviously wanting you to, to know what they've got going on. I always call it the Black Friday. No, no, no. I mean, uh, the black market instead of Black Friday market. Mm. Everyone's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I haven't heard you done that yet. So black, black market. Oh, yeah, you will. Well, I'm sure I will, especially now. <laughs> Um, anyway, guys, all of them in here are, you know, got really good stuff. So, um, ugh, and I love this, these leggings. They're so cute. Yeah. The skull ones are pretty cool. Okay. Uh, baby formula post is still up there. I'm so I, I have someone now in my family who is timer and struggling. Oh, who is it? Who is it? I'm Jennifer. showing Jennifer Estabrook. Yeah. I saw he, he, he. <laughs> Is that the one you got? Jen Sarge wants to know how you become a member for Black Market. Amanda Long wants to know how you become a vendor for Black Market. Okay. Maybe. Yep, yep. So there's several different posts. There's this one specifically. Uh, Where'd it go? The one we went over a little bit ago. Sorry, hold on. Right here. Want to become an approved mom nation vendor? Here's the application. So on most of the posts, I'm going to try and have that on there. So especially the ones where it's the mom nation approved vendors specifically that are getting, you know, their stuff out there and we're putting posts out there for them. Um, you'll have the option to be able to sign up there. That's sure. awesome. Yes. Yep. Yep. All right. Where was I? Um, all right, scrolling, scrolling. Okay. Baby formula. So I was just saying, I have a family member who is now also on the search. So things are still tight, right? <laughs> yeah. Tight. Things are still tight. And, uh, formula is still a hot commodity and people are having issues finding it. So, um, please, if you find some, even if it's just you take a picture at the store. You don't have to put all the names. Don't do, don't make work for yourself. But if you're at the store and you see baby formula on the shelf, take a picture of it, post the name of the store you were at so that people can come into the thread. And if they see the brand or the, the, you know, type of formula that they need, then they can hopefully, you know, get in touch with finding out where it's at. Yeah, man. I, I feel for those parents. I needed a special type of formula for Jackson when he was younger because if he had like some sensitivities. Yeah. Man, I'd be freaking out right now. Yeah. It's no bueno. Yeah. Sure. I think Jen is laughing at me. Well, she's with me. <laughs> so this post just went out, guys. Um, this is uh, oh, oh, hold, hold up. Just quick pause. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Um, but the girls are saying Jennifer Estabrook says it's only here in the United States, which is so crazy. And Kristen Leach says the shelves in Nogales, Mexico are stocked and it's really only a couple of hours away. Wow. Why? Interesting. Why are we receiving this shortage? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Major question mark. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is an article post, a uh, blog post that just went out and it's a pretty good read. You've got, um, it, it pretty much goes over different resources to help keep your kids out of what they refer to as the slummer, slummer, summer, summer slack, slack. <laughs> um, which is apparently a real thing. So if you haven't read this, it's really interesting. I actually was pulling up some of the resources for my own kiddos. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a good read. And I think the sponsors of this one were Miss Ocean Booty and Eileen Satter with Color Street. So we greatly appreciate you ladies. 
Um, what do we got here? Katie, take the wheel. I want coffee. Okay. So, ooh, Dobson Woods. Yes. Let's watch this little video. So this is, oh, no, 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 not this video. Let's watch the video of the house itself. I think it's in the featured posts still. Um, this is Dana and I. I love Dana. Dana and I report on a different community throughout the Valley every Monday. So you never know where we're going to be. This Monday, we happen to be in Dobson Woods, which is just across the street from Dobson Ranch. That probably rings a bell if you're familiar with the East Valley, familiar with that area of Mesa. And so we talked all about what's around there, what's available, you know, as far as properties, like what are the price points, what, what kind of properties are in there, all that amenities, what's around, all that. Um, we even talked about, this was cool, Dana mentioned um, that Mesa is the first autism certified city in the country. I thought that was awesome. Did not know that. That is awesome. Yeah. So this is our, our last, uh, last uh, video on Dobson Woods, and we'll see where we are next week. You never know. Who is the gal who has the um, like spectrum hair cutting salon? And where was that? Jojo. Uh, I did a live and learn with her in 2020. Mm -hmm. I remember her. Yeah. Where it's at. Um, we can find that in the live and learn playlist, okay. but she's, she's awesome. And I think her business is in Mesa. Ooh, I don't remember off the top of my head, maybe Gilbert. Well, I think that it's amazing when businesses are pulling together and making sure that they're accommodating more than just, you know, <laughs> the majority of audiences or uh, customers like that. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Scroll up a little bit. We skipped over. This actually is a really good listen, guys. It's about 20 minutes. If you have any sort of questions about what's going on, there has been a shift in the real estate market. It's nothing to be completely alarmed about, though. And um, we explained that Matt and I, Matt's my husband, we've been in this business for eons, decades. And um, every month we report on what's going on in Phoenix in terms of the housing market. We have stats to back up what we're saying, talk about what we think is going to happen. And we share uh, different tips and tricks and things that buyers and sellers need to know right now, pertinent to cur current market conditions. So very different than just, you know, just advice that you might get that is not pertinent to any sort of market condition, because sometimes what is seen as good advice might not be depending on, on the factors, you know, that are, that are currently going on. So makes a lot of sense to keep your eyes on things, keep your fingers on the pulse, um, whether you're already in a home because it's your largest asset, you should know what's going on with it, or you're going to be in the market at some time soon, you know, or you're expecting to be in the market sometime soon, or you're in the market now really, really important to know your stuff, guys. I can't tell you how many people that I run into that come from other agents that ha have no idea what they're doing, have no idea what's going on in the market right now. And they come to me because they see me talking about it online all day, every day, and they're clueless. And it's so, so sad that people are not getting educated out there. So get some education before you do something like that. Man, I feel like there should be ways to get in to high school, like, couldn't there be like volunteer classes that go into high school and allow kids to learn some of these subjects that the actual school itself can't or doesn't do, you know, I don't know. Right? real estate, like all, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like that's a cool thing that if we started young and we had a good baseline of these concepts and, you know, things that we should know moving forward. Yeah, there's definitely a lack of education in terms of real estate, for sure, for sure. So we're trying to, to fight back at the lack. There you go. So there's a whole conversation happening right now in the comments, by the way. Oh, cool. We have some insight as to uh, Amanda Long went ahead and said that the, sh the shortage with formula is because 
um, it was the U.S. plant that had the issues and was shut down. And there's just like a whole, anyway, it's pretty insightful to answering some of our questions on why the, um, why the shortage is where it why is. it's happening. Awesome, ladies. Thank you for sharing that info. I love sharing info between us. It's definitely helpful. All right. So here's one of our weekly posts, guys. Um, if you're new to the group, you'll see this out every Monday. It's the like and follow ladder. It is um, a, a post that you kind of have some, some steps in participating, some guidelines. So you would come to this post, especially if you want to get to know moms in the group who have businesses, want to get familiar with their products or services, or just get to know them. Um, or you have a business and you want to share your Facebook business page um, or other, um, you know, business related platforms to, again, like, follow, comment and build your guys's audiences together. Um, so it is a great way to kind of, you know, again, network, basically. This is the video I wanted to watch. OK, we're going to watch it. this house is in Dobson Woods and it is so adorable. It is so perfect for a family. I can't even stress it enough. Check this place out. Ooh. Double door entry. It's all been redone inside. That is all new flooring upstairs and downstairs. It's got the custom interior paint with the accent walls, plenty of space. It's like 2,700 square feet. So it's that perfect sweet spot. Um, you know, not too big, but certainly not too small. There's your living space, dining area. They use it as a workout area, but of course it could be a den. You know, if you don't want to do the formal dining thing, there's your family room, beautiful fireplace, wood burning. And then the Eden kitchen, which has a cute little window seat. You'll see that it's totally mm. adorable, Love totally that. updated kitchen. All the appliances are included, updated fixtures, beautiful granite, bright white cabinets. Like I just can go on and on. It is so full of natural light in there. Amazing. It's got a brand new roof, 2022. It's got solar. So your bills are super low, like crazy low, huge, huge master. Look at the size of that thing. Mm -hmm. Insane. Oh my God. I love There's the glove. closets with all the fixings, like the drawers and all of that. There's your double sinks, big garden tub, what? Yeah, it's a huge bathroom. It's beautiful. There's your solar. And look, the guest bedrooms are even huge. You know how it like it, it kind of sucks in some houses where you have a huge master, but then your kids' bedrooms are like shoe boxes. Yep. Well, not the case here. Look how big that is. That is not small furniture. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Kids' room is so cute. I love the stripes. Very nice, crisp white banister. It's just gorgeous. Hu Look oh, at that. Huge God. laundry room, half bath down. I love a big laundry area, um, <gasps> especially with the folding table. Look at that day bed, swinging day bed. Look at all the gardens out there, mature landscaping. Uh, what? Oh yeah. my God. House. Extended covered patio, pool, spa. It's the perfect house, seriously. Perfect. I want it. <laughs> I know. And it's the location's great. It's just right at like Alma School in Guadalupe. That's amazing. Yeah. So thanks yeah. for humoring me. I had to show that. Oh, it's a beautiful one. All right. Making sure. All right, guys, we're still, we're getting to the end of the show. However, we still need those comments to come in. So we have our last cash. Entry. Yep. Our last cash winner. So stay with us here. Savings Sunday. So this is another weekly post out on Sundays. This is another great way to get to know the businesses in the group. Or again, if you're just a regular mom like me, you can come in and um, let us know about coupons that you've seen, deals, savings at stores, grocery stores, whatever thing that you come across that will help save mom's money. We want to know about it. Ticket pricings, whatever, whatever it is. Um, so Skylar's letting us know that, uh, let's see, we've saved many home sellers from this trap contact team Evo AZ Realty to make sure 
sure you're making the right moves with the sale of your home and watch this. So there's, what is this video? I don't know, watch it. Okay, I will. <laughs> um, please like and comment on the Facebook page. And they still have, um, we're offering up to 25% off, 20% of our commission back towards your qualifying costs, closing costs and offer a 30% discount to sell your current home. Hey, hey. Yep, yep. You do not need to take a bath right now, guys. You do not need to be paying these companies exorbitant amounts of money, including fees and just all the stuff they nickel and dime you with to sell your property. You do not need to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and it's sad when I see people who do. Just because they don't know, you know, maybe they're selling a house for the first time and they don't really know what their options are. They don't really know what to look out for. It is, it can be a shady space. So be very, very careful with who you're working with, you guys. I can't stress it enough. And then again, this beautiful QR code is still letting you know uh, what active buyers are searching for. Um, so if, if they're searching for a home like yours. Correct. Yep. We just need a little bit of information and we pull those manually. And what that actually does is it pulls the uh, information, like your square footage, how many bedrooms location, and it shows you how many pre-qualified active buyers are looking in your area right now for that type of home. Um, the last, the listing appointment that I just uh, prepared for that I'm going on today has 290 buyers wow. ready, willing, able, pre-qualified, ready to go. Um, and then Skylar's also always letting us know about the savings we can have with the Pogo Pass, which I just, I feel like I was just talking about it yesterday to someone. It's a constant conversation, guys. Oh, yeah, I, I, th I, th I think I saw that post. Yes. Well, and I also, I went, I thought about doing like an impromptu Pogo Pass event, but I was, it was a last minute thing, but I took the kids to go bowling. And guess what I learned that I can do with the Pogo Pass? What? I went bowling one free game with the Pogo Pass a week, right? At just one location. There's like two locations on here. Yep. I went to the Mesa location and we went bowling free game, right? Just paid for the shoe rental. Then right after I used the same Pogo Pass cards to go play golf. So we got bowling and golf in the same day. Nice. All did was pay for shoes rentals for the bowling. And you had such a fun time, I'm sure. We did. It was great. Yeah. And it was last minute, but otherwise I would have popped it in. But um that's and that's just at one location. You can do that at the other location. So you can go bowling and mini golfing twice a week, guys. <laughs> like, come on now. Well, and then with everything being so ridiculously priced these days and, and, and warm, you know, um, it's definitely, definitely pays off to have this pass. Yeah. Well, the kids are going stir crazy and I was like, okay, we got to get, I have to get them out of the house. So yeah. uh, that's what we did yesterday afternoon. evening. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it pays within itself guys. It's seriously such a good deal. Why is it being so slow? Okay. Um, happening. oh, that was an open house that we had had last week, last hey. weekend. Oh, hey, I feel like I remember calling Kelly Savastano telling me she went into an open house and saw Megan. It was that one. Is it that one? Yeah. Cool. All right. Eileen Satter, we have you letting us know about some color street salon quality manicure packs that are a game changer. You can have a beautiful manicure and not break the bank. Salon quality manicures for as little as $10 each. Check out these colors and styles. And guys, she's got some really cute patterns. I was wishing I had my, my most recent pattern up here, but I didn't bring it. I got a couple cool ones at the spa day. Yep, me too. Yes, yes. Speaking of which, Where's our pictures from that day? They're up. Sarah Pitcher put them up. Ugh, we should pin them. Yeah, we should pin them. And yeah, we can go over them. Um, all right, yard sale Saturday. So this is another weekly post. Speaks for itself. Anything yard sale related, whether you would be selling it or buying it, comes into this post. It's a beast. 137 comments. I am not opening it. 
but you should definitely check it out. Um, Yeah. And I have a house right now with some really nice furniture in it that I have to liquidate for my client. She's out of state and she doesn't want this furniture anymore and we're selling her house. So I'm going to have some furniture for you ladies here, probably like Thursday. Hey, and look at this. Speaking of baby formula, baby Brisa formula pro. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not familiar with those. Is that to make the formula or is it like, I don't know. I'm curious. I'm clueless on that. Me too. Um, All right. Fun Friday out on Fridays, letting us know if you have anything interesting or you know of something local happening that moms and families would be interested in going to. Please let us know in here. Um, Let's see. When was that? Four days ago. Three out houses today. Yeah. Yeah. We had three open houses on Saturday and it was hot. Yeah. I believe it. All right, so here was one of the posts where in the comments you could have nominated a dad. Again, we already congratulated our winning dad. And anyway, it was it was fun. It would, it would be nice to be able to do, do this every year. Thankful Thursday. Out on Thursdays, it's a good feeling post. We want to know what you're grateful for, what you're thankful for. Um, Again, I apologize. I didn't have the celebrate everything post in here for some reason, um, but that's usually when we go over birthdays and whatnot. But my bad. Um, so this was you, me, and share going over what do we call it? Protecting your child as a single mom, part one. And we're going to come back and do it again. We have a part two and a part three, probably. So this is our from the the heart podcast. You know what I learned yesterday is that a lot of people aren't familiar with all the shows we have. So we have uh, from the heart podcast, which is like inspirational stories, women related topics. We really, really go, you know, deep into the hard conversations in this podcast. It is, um, you know, it is available through podcast platforms, the audio version as well. We just like to, to record it as we go and have a, a YouTube version also. So that's this show. And then we have uh, Mental Wealth with Laura Wood, the counselor, and that is focusing on individual mental health um, and sort of curing things that you don't want to pass on to your children, which I'm sure we all have one or two of those things. Um, then we have our love story questions, uh, Q&A with a couple's counselor, and that is with Diana Eisel and we talk once a month about like a couple things. Usually we'll take posts from the group. Oops, I have something in my hands are dropped. Usually we'll take posts from the group and talk, you know, about that because there's a lot of couple posts in there, rightfully so. I mean, you know, many of us are coupled up, so it makes sense. Um, what else do we have? We have a live and learn that we do where it's usually a, a member of the group that we that I interview. And we learn a new skill or, you know, they share specialized knowledge. The idea is that, you know, any mom can walk away with being able to use that skill, implement it right away or implement the knowledge right away. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to add another show to the mix and kind of trying to think about a name right now. I might be landing on uh, make dollars make sense or making dollars make sense, something like that. And that's going to be about money, about budgeting, about saving, about hedging against inflation, about investing, about saving for kids college, like all of the money stuff that we don't learn in school. And we have some awesome speakers that I'm sure would be great at helping with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to partner with Dana Austin on that. Um, And because she's, you know, she knows about money. And so, yeah, I mean, definitely happy to have guests on the show as it, you know, pertains to our topic, but it's, it's going to be Dana and I co-hosting. I'm so excited. I know. Awesome. All right. I'm not sure where we're at here. Okay. Did we go over this one last week? Uh, no, because this happened after our show. So this is me and the new build babe. And if you don't know who the new build babe is, that's Megan Lind- Lindholm. Sorry, almost botched that Megan. 
Um, she is on Team Evo AZ. She works alongside with me and Dana Wilson. And, um, and Sonia also, Sonia is, she lived in Washington for a while, but now she's back in Arizona. So we're super excited to have her back here, back working with the team. And so those are your, that's your real estate mama team. And we went over Tanager at Waterston North in Gilbert. And that was the new build community that we reported on last week. Pretty cool place. So this was learning about it. Yep. And then there will be a tour. So yes. So on Wednesdays, we do the show. And then the following Tuesday is the tour of the community. So that happened yesterday. Cool. Yep. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. And then we're back at last week's. So let's pop into events because I know you are pressed for time. I have all these notifications popping up. Because you're popular. All right. So prepare your credit challenge happening now. That is in the home educational group. If you don't know what that is or how to get into it, um, if you follow and click into, let's see if I can do it real quick. Mm -hmm. Here, you can get into the group through here. I'm, yep, right here. It's a great little group if you are wanting to stay in the know, like Katie always says, about real estate and or how to help your credit, obviously, in this case. Yes, ma'am. We share a lot of info in there. Again, very pertinent to um, you know what's going on in the market. And this week, we are running a Repair Your Credit Challenge. We had, the last time that we did it was overwhelming with how much progress the people who actually did took the steps and did the challenge with how much they um their credit score increased so we decided to bring it back it's happening now it's all self-directed you're just in that group there's one post a day for you know whatever the topic is that happens to be that day that's part of the challenge they're kept in the featured section so if you don't happen to go in today and tomorrow is your day to do it then you can go in and you could see all of the posts from this past week in the featured section. So you can just kind of follow it in sequence there. Yep. Yep. And then we have, uh, what's what Wednesday with Kate and Nash. That's what we're on right now. Then there's the Q and a that we've talked about earlier with, um, couples counselor and let's see, that's Friday at 10 neighborhood news of Katie and Dina is going to be on Monday at 10. Mm-hmm. And then we're back at What's What Wednesday. Um, there is a couple other things also. So obviously um, the new build broadcast and the um, newest from the heart podcast will drop again uh, next Wednesday at noon, like usual. And then am I missing? Oh no, last Thursday of the month. I'm like, where's Bunko Babes? Last Thursday of the month. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> um all You're right a week ahead of us yes yes and look i'm letting you off at exactly 11 wow we all right last comment tony market <laughs> tony lots of events happening yes there are thank you ladies for sticking with us we love you absolutely and very much looking forward to everything going on this summer our as you can see, our schedule is packed. So awesome. All right, guys. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.